My name is Nina Sichanava, and I lead the Economic and Trends Research Program at House. We just released the third quarter's House Renovation Barometer, which is an economic indicator that tracks regional and national conditions in the home improvement market. The barometer is constructed based on a quarterly online survey sent to a panel of businesses with profiles on house. These businesses offer renovation-related services either in the architecture and design sector or the residential construction sector. There are a number of interesting findings in this quarter's barometer. At the very highest level, the outlook of renovation businesses has been quite positive over the past five-year history of us tracking the market. It also continues to be positive this quarter. One of the indices we track is the expectations of businesses for the next three months. We typically want to see the expectations indicator above 50 points, which means that a greater number of businesses expect new projects and project inquiries to increase quarter over quarter, compared to the number of businesses that expect this activity to decrease. Looking back two years, the expectations indicator exceeded the 50-point threshold by quite a bit. Additionally, it is interesting that for the very first time, architects and designers converged in their outlook with a construction sector, with a both sectors index showing 71 points in Q3. Beyond the absolute reading, however, the upward and downward trend in the index is what we watch most carefully. The idea here is to see whether the market is reaching a turning point. Now, with that in mind, we see that architects and designers have become increasingly more optimistic toward the future in the last year. That said, the construction sector's enthusiasm has been declining in 2019. We see similar trends in the actual activity reported by the businesses. For example, more architects and designers report a continuous uptick in new projects and new project inquiries in the recent quarters. At the same time, the number of contractors reporting an uptick in actual activity has been slowly declining. One of the most intuitive indicators that we have as part of the house renovation barometer is the project backlog indicator. The project backlog is based on businesses reporting how long a new customer would have to wait before the company can start work on a new mid-sized project. Backlogs are measured in weeks. We average out the backlogs across all businesses and track how the backlog changes quarter after quarter. Another notable finding is that the project backlogs have stayed around five weeks for both the architecture and the construction sector on average. For architects and designers, the project backlogs has remained pretty steady over the past two years. Now, for construction sector, that is not quite true. The construction sector backlogs have remained somewhat sluggish. For context, mid last year, the backlogs in the construction sector had reached 10 weeks on average. But this year, the backlogs dropped to below five weeks and have remained there consistently over the past four quarters. In addition to the construction backlogs being sluggish in 2019, there are a few red flags looking deeper into the construction market. The backlogs are starting to vary quite a bit across the different business groups. Now we break out the construction sector into three business groups, specifically build-only remodelers, design and build remodelers, and specialty trade contractors such as roofers, plumbers, electricians, etc. It is somewhat alarming that the drop in backlogs is quite disproportionate for build-only remodelers. Their backlogs dropped from above seven weeks at the start of the year to just over four weeks at the start of Q3. At the same time, project backlogs for specialty trade businesses, such as roofers and plumbers, have remained relatively steady although again, nothing like last year's levels. This varying trend across the three construction business groups is pretty consistent across all of the barometer indicators. In other words, design and build contractors and specialty trade contractors like roofers and plumbers continue to enjoy steady market performance. But build-only contractors are experiencing a pretty major deceleration in activity. One of the leading concerns among the construction businesses going into the third quarter is weather. 
This is highly unusual for this time of the year, since by now, the warm summer temperatures enable the peak of the construction cycle. When we ask businesses to describe any local or national factors that are impacting construction businesses today, weather has received the most mentions, with rain, flooding, and in some cases snow causing major delays for the construction crews. It is interesting that many other factors that are commonly listed by construction businesses, such as politics, rising prices, competition, and others, have all moved back in the background. The severity of the weather's impact on the construction industry cannot be overstated. According to the National Climate Tracking Authority, NCI, the first half of 2019 has been the wettest first half of a year in the U.S. recorded history. May was an extraordinary month, with near-record-to-record -record precipitation, hitting the West Coast through the Central Plains, into the Great Lakes, and parts of the Northeast. Rain has exacerbated and in some parts caused flooding in the central U.S. And in addition to the rain, a cold spell hit some parts of the West and an unusually high number of tornadoes impacted the South. Unusual weather conditions so late in the year alone could explain why we have not seen project backlogs increasing and why construction sentiments are somewhat dampened, especially for the build-only remodelers. We're continuing to monitor weather in the third quarter since it's such a major influencer for the industry. While extreme weather often spurs additional home improvement and repair activity shortly after the events, the drop in bag logs that we're observing might signal a delay in some of the larger projects till the next year. One of the other major concerns voiced by the construction sector is the ongoing shortage of skilled labor. This is not surprising. While the renovation market activity returned to and has exceeded the pre-recession levels, there's still over 420,000 workers missing from the residential construction industry as a whole. According to our survey of remodelers and builders, 85% of professionals report moderate to severe shortages in the third quarter. This is an increase from 77% two years ago. Carpenters are the most sought after business today, with over 50% of remodelers telling us that carpenters are in moderate to severe shortage, followed by general laborers, framers, tilers, electricians, and plumbers. Labor shortages are increasing the cost of construction, delaying projects, and might be another contributing factor to the dampened sentiments in the construction sector. Another important concern voiced by the industry that we're continuing to watch in the third quarter is the unfolding impact of the trade negotiations and tariffs on Chinese imported goods. As you may recall, in September of last year, U.S. imposed a 10% increase on tariffs of 200 billion imports of countertops, cabinets, flooring, and other materials from China. Those materials are commonly used in remodels of kitchens and bathrooms and other construction projects. In May of this year, this 10% tariff was raised to 25%. And the impact of these tariffs on the building industry has been quite immediate, with government indices showing a meaningful increase in material prices. According to the barometer survey, we learned that one in three businesses experienced a negative effect of tariffs. It is interesting that a similar number of higher report a neutral impact, while a quarter or so are unsure of the impact as a whole. Among the businesses that do report a negative effect, there are two main themes that have emerged. First of all, rising material costs have eroded margins on the existing contracts. And secondly, volatile pricing is causing significant unease among prospective customers, which is not surprising. It is possible that all three of the major forces shaping the industry today, from weather to labor shortages to increasing costs from tariffs, are contributing to the lowered sentiments in the construction sector. That said, in absolute terms, however, the industry continues to have a positive outlook, and in the third quarter, the businesses are plenty busy. For more details on the industry and our research, please check out www.house.com research.